Good evening. I would like to first welcome His Excellency President, Mr. Nechirvan Barzani, His Excellency Prime Minister, Mr. Masrur Barzani, distinguished guests, families, and friends, thank you for joining us. It's an honor to have been chosen as one of the valedictorians of the graduating class of 2022. And I would like to take this chance and say thank you to the ones who supported me the most. To my mother, who believed in me more than I ever believed in myself, and to my father, who made me the independent woman I am today. To my instructors, my amazing group of friends, my beloved siblings, and my very dear Behra Daron's family, thank you. I would not be standing here today if it weren't for all of you. I'll begin by telling my story of how I came to a UK. Four years ago, I graduated from high school, and I was trying to decide what my major would be. I knew that this single decision would affect the trajectory of my life for the next few years, and probably for the rest of my life as well. So I had to choose carefully. I always knew that my passion lay in math, physics, and arts, anything that combines logic with creativity. But when it came time to make my final decision, I caught myself in a dilemma. I found out that I was actually accepted in College of Medicine in our local university. And this may not seem like an issue to many people, but for me, my difficult decision suddenly became much more difficult. I had to choose between my true interests and what society expected me to do. You see, many people believe that majoring in medicine is the ultimate path to success. But for me, and I hope for you, success has always been about being happy, passionate, and most importantly, living a life you actually want to live. So I decided instead to do engineering at AUK. And despite everyone telling me that I'm crazy for leaving med school or even warning me that girls cannot succeed in engineering, I made my decision to take, as Robert Frost called it, the road less traveled by. And now as I look back and reflect on the past few years, I can clearly see how much I've changed as an individual. And I'm sure that I've made the right decision as it allowed me to further know myself and explore my abilities. And I don't think any of that would have been possible if I had gone into the generic conventional path I might have taken. So I guess success comes in different forms and variations for each of us. And I'm not here to tell you what is right, what is wrong, what you should do. All I can do is speak from my own experience. And that is, I firmly believe that we all should take a deeper look inside and ask ourselves, who do I want to be? What makes me happy? And what life do I want to live? And this is a process that hopefully will never end. These are questions that I hope you'll always keep before you. And when you wake up each morning, let your own self-evaluation begin anew. Because only if you live with a spirit of pure curiosity and joy can you be inventive and unique. And success, as defined by the world, can maybe give you a sense of pleasure temporarily, but the real success will fulfill you to your very core. Because then, you're not just a successful professional, but a successful person as well. So no matter what path you're taking after this day, just make sure it's something you want to do, not what others expect from you, something that makes you happy, something that you are ready to struggle for, and something that gives your existence a meaning. As Frost said in one of his poems, I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roots diverge in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So I would like to encourage each of you to take the road less traveled by, to follow your passions, and never stop fighting for your dreams. Though this day is indeed an end of something, it is also just the beginning. It signifies both renewal and change. So let's show the world that we're capable of great inventions and remarkable discoveries, and let's revive Kurdistan's beautiful history of great minds, poets, writers, thinkers, and much more. And let this moment, this commencement ceremony, be the beginning of a Kurdish renaissance where we and our nation move forward together. And lastly, always remember, the path you create for yourself, by yourself, is your own personal path to excellence. Thank you.